Hello everyone. Well, it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for our Friday fun and frolics. I'm delighted to say that Graham has joined us once again in our secure bubble um, to play the bass for us. And uh, this week's song is um, probably the oldest song in our repertoire. It was written around about 1895-96 by a songwriting team of uh, George Lebrun and Edgar Bateman, very well-known songwriters of the time, and they wrote this song especially for the star performer of the halls, Gus Elan. Um, it's very much a Cockney song, and it's very much of its time. So some of the attitudes reflected in the song are obviously no longer relevant today. So place it in its historical context and it's fine. And it goes like this. A one, two, three, four. I've lost my pal. He's the best in all the town. But don't you think him dead because he ain't. But since he's wed, he has had to knuckle down It's enough to vex the temper of a saint He's a brewer's drayman with a leg of mutton fist And he's strong as a bullock or an horse Yet in her hands he is like a little kid How oh, I wish as I could get him a divorce it's a great big shame, and if she belonged to me, I'd let her know who's who. Nagging at a fella what is six foot three, and her not four foot two. How they hadn't been married not a month or more, when underneath the thumb goes Jim. Oh, isn't it a pity as the likes of her should put upon the likes of him? Now, Jim was class, he could sing a decent song, and at scrapping he had won some great renown. It took two coppers for to make him move along And another six to hold the fella down But today when I asks him would he come and have some beer To the doorstep on tiptoe he arrives I daren't, says he, don't shout cause she'll hear I've got to clean the windows and the knives It's a great big shame and if she belonged to me I'd let her know who's who Nagging at a fella what is six foot three and her not four foot two Oh they hadn't been married not a month or more when underneath the thumb goes Jim Oh isn't it a pity as the likes of her should put upon the likes of him. On a Sunday morning with a dozen pals or more, he'd play a pitch and toss along the lee. But now she bullies him, a scrubbing of the floor, such a change, well I never did see. With an apron on him, I twigged him on his knees, a rubbing at the old hearthstone. What with empty in the ashes and a shelling of the peas, I'm blowed if he can call himself his own. It's a great big shame, and if she belonged to me, I'd let her know. And a not four foot two. Oh, they hadn't been married not a month or more. When underneath the thumb goes Jim. Oh, isn't it a pity as the likes of her should put upon the likes of him? There. It's a great big shame. 
And uh, again, I have another snapshot memory in my head of hearing Alan Breeze sing this on the Billy Cotton Band Show on a Sunday morning when I should have been playing Pitch and Toss along the Lee. It's a great old song. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, well, we'll have some more for you next week. So until we meet again, you know what to do. Stay safe, take care of each other, and be kind to yourselves. And it's goodbye from the three of us. Bye for now. <laughs>